Good morning everyone, I'm Nuria Roval and today I'm going to present you my project about languages in social networks. The outline, the outline that I'm going to follow is the following one. First of all, I'm going to start by making a brief explanation of what are the social networks and how they have influenced our world. Then I'm going to explain to you the two social networks that you are going to see in this project, which are Instagram and WhatsApp. After this, I'm going to show you some multilingual messages that I found in Instagram, and um, which languages are used in this post, and then I'm going to show you the screenshots that I took on, of this post. Um, after this, I'm going to show you some multilingual messages that I found in my chat of the WhatsApp application. Um, I'm also ex going to explain to you how to myself use um, the tools that WhatsApp provides us and some of the screenshots that I took of these multilingual messages. And after all this, I'm going to explain to you some of the results and conclusions that I found after doing this project. The social networks in our world. The social networks are uh, structures composed by users. The users are the are we, the consumers of these apps. Um, they, allow, they allow us to get to know to some external products, people, experiences and business. Um, the three most famous apps that we can find are Facebook, YouTube and WhatsApp. And some of the other apps that we can find are Tumblr, Telegram and Instagram. Instagram is one of the most used uh, social networks. Um, its aim is to share images and videos through uh, followers. Um, this application is available for Android and iOS and is used by more than 100 million active users. Then we are going to see the WhatsApp app. It is an instant messaging network. What means that um, it, its aim is to send and receive messages, photos, audio files, documents, and other things like uh, contacts, music, and some other things. Um, WhatsApp allows us to have conversation groups too, um, which these groups can be up to 256 people. And this app is used by more than 2,000 million users. Okay. I found some multilingual messages in Instagram. Five of them were from famous people, in which we can find Matt Marquez, Alice Spargaro, and Gerard Piquet, who are athletes, and two of them are motorcycle riders. Then we can find Marifé and Jake Snow, who are a famous couple of influencers. Finally, I found a friend of mine, he's Sergio Garcia, who has been uh, abroad because he wanted to study English and in his post he used some uh, more than one languages. They all use the social media to express and show what they want, what they do in their everyday life. Um, some of the language used. We've seen that Ali, uh, Mark Market, uh, Lizzie Spargaro, and Gerard Pique, and finally Sergio Artia are used to use English and uh, Spanish in their post. Why? Because they are Spanish, all of them, and they have uh, followers from Spain and others from all around the world. What means English is a globalized language as, and is the one that they use to be understood by all the people outside of Spain. Then we found Marifé and Jake Snow who are used to use German and English in their post. Why? Because Jake Snow is from Germany and Marifé is from Australia and that's why they use these two languages. What they want to express by this post? They want to express humor, emotions and they want to be understood by everyone and that's why they use more than one language in their post. These are the pictures that I took from this post and we can find this one from Marifé and Jake Snow where we can see that here is a sentence in German and the rest is in English. Here the one from Alessio Spargaro which 
one sentence is in English and the other one in Spanish and the same with the one from Mar Market, Sergio Garcia and Gerard Pique. Okay, now I'm going to go through the multilingual messages that I found in my WhatsApp chats. Um, the languages that I found that we use the most are English, Catalan and Spanish. And also the phenomena that we found were uh, code switching and translanguaging. What that means? We found that in a chat, um, in some three of uh, the five chats that I found, there are some phrases in which um, Catalan and English are mixed, or Spanish and English are mixed in the same sentence. And translanguaging means that there are two languages involved in uh, a whole conversation. Then, now I'm going to explain you how I use um, the tools that Walter provides us myself. Sometimes the emoticons are helpful because they help us to emphasize what we say, to express, to express, to express feelings and emotions, and some needs. Um, images can also explain what, instead of explaining a whole thing, we can just send a picture and it's easy to be understood and also to be able to show people what you want to explain. And recorded messages can be so useful because if you want to explain long things about something, it's easy to send just a voice message. And it's also helpful because when you are talking, you are able to express by your voice tone what, what you are feeling and it's also easier to be comprehend. And these are some of the pictures that I took. In this one with Anya, we can see that there's a uh, translanguaging because we are talking one sentence in Catalan, one sentence in English and so on. Here we can see that there are mixed um, three languages, Spanish, Catalan and English. This one is with my best friend and we are just talking in some sentences, we can find that there's a mixture of these two languages, English and Catalan. This one is with my boss and we have seen also that there are um, English, uh, English sentences and Catalan with a mixture of both languages. And finally, this one, this is a class, uh, class group um, WhatsApp. And we also saw that there are some mixture in, uh, between Spanish and English and Catalan. Finally, the results and conclusions. We found that these social ne networks are uh, form a huge part of our lives, and there are several languages used in them. Um, We've seen that the most used languages in the ones in the post that I found are English and Spanish, and they help the, the usage of these different different languages help the followers to be uh, to to understand what the people they follow want to say. We saw that WhatsApp also allows uh, to set up communication in very different ways by voice messages, uh, instant messages, pictures. Um, bo um, Voice, uh, voice calls, video calls, and other things. And we also seen that the two phenomena that happen the most in my WhatsApp chats are code switching and translanguaging between Spanish, Catalan, and English, that are, the, that are the languages that I use the most. And finally, that we can see that the usage of these devices that WhatsApp allows us to use can be very helpful. Finally, we've seen that the usage of languages is so important to be comprehended by people that don't understand your language and also that there can be a mixture of languages um, because sometimes it's easier to express something in another language, language than the one that you are used to use. So. Thank you everyone, uh, thank you for listening to me and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.